that I didn't have any friends in the neighborhood and I was scared in there. There was uh, some drug use and a lot of neglect. I moved a bunch. I didn't really want to move that much. I just didn't think I would have a family. My husband James was actually adopted out of foster care. I was adopted right after I turned five, right before I was ready to go to kindergarten. So adoption was, was a very early conversation. The more we looked into that, we realized that starting with foster care was probably gonna be the way to go. The very first child we got through foster care just seemed like a perfect fit for the family. It's, it's honestly like he was supposed to be there. Jennifer was the one who um, initially brought Connor to our house. In some ways, she was the closest to a mom or a family that he had at that point. She spent a lot of time knowing and understanding Connor, and I think that has a lot to do with the way that he's able to receive love and a family. Connor is an awesome kid. He's funny. He's a bright kid. He, he's just a joy to be around. The day that Connor arrived, our son walked in the door and the two of them locked eyes and it was like they were long lost best friends. We just saw each other and then we just like connected. They bought Connor a pair of matching pajamas for their Christmas that year. He was so excited to wear them, and that's when I knew that this was gonna be his forever home. Before he was adopted, the furthest out he could plan was, am I going to have a family? And that was where his future stopped. Once that question was finally answered and he could check off that box, I now have a family, I now have some stability. He was able to fully think about the future all the way. Very soon after the adoption, we were having a casual conversation and he said, I want to get my master's degree. He can do anything he wants to do. 